let's start to make this um, t-shirt I'm using Skippy wheel is the the color that I'm using is let me see dark grape squish we will work this um, this t-shirt with a with a yoke so we were starting from uh, the top of the um, the t-shirt working in rounds uh, don't be afraid with this um, with this uh, yoke uh, method because it's simple if you know to work in rounds then you don't have uh, any problem uh, like you know uh, this tutorial is for size s but you will find on my blog uh, other uh, all the information for other uh, sizes from s to 2x so i hope that uh, you will try this i'm continuing to do the foundation chain so for the size s i will do 136 uh, stitches the uh, hook that i'm using is a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, for all the sizes because i'm using this wheel and you know that uh, it uh, has quite a length it will be enough one wheel for all the sizes so you can try this uh, this uh, t-shirt because you won't need uh, too much yarn after finishing the foundation chain just slip stitch and then we will start the row one chain two and one double crochet in the same stitch then we will continue with 31 double crochet we work now on the back side of our t-shirt and uh, we won't begin uh, in the middle because we don't want that the joining uh, of the rows to be in the middle because it will be too visible so we will start with 31 double crochet for the back side So just one double crochet in each stitch. Then in uh, in the next stitch, so in the 32 stitch, we will do our first increase. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet in the same stitch. To be more easy on the next round uh, put a stitch marker here in the chain one space just to be easy to know where you have to make the increase on the next row now we will do the uh, sleeve and for the sleeve you'll have to work 30 double crochet So 30 double crochet for the uh, for the sleeve. If you want to use another yarn uh, you might uh, you may use um, sport or baby weight yarn it will suit better for this uh, type of t-shirt now in the next uh, stitch after we finish the 30 stitches for the uh, sleeve we will do another increase so one double crochet chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch then we will continue with the front part so we will do 36 double crochet
after finishing the 36th double crochet we will do another increase in the next stitch so one double crochet chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch and then we will continue with the second sleeve so 30 double crochet in the next 30 stitches okay now that we finished the second sleeve it's time for the last increase and then after the last increase you should have five stitches left and uh, with the 31 that we made at the beginning we have 36 stitches for the back side also so you will have 36 stitches for uh, the back side and for the front side and 30 stitches for sleeves and uh, with four stitches additional stitches in which we made the uh, increases so this was basically the first round of our uh, yoke of our t-shirt after finishing the last five uh, double crochet make sure that your work is not twist and then join with the first double crochet that you made uh, join with a slip stitch and for from round two we will work in uh, the same so one double crochet on the top of each double crochet of the previous round and in each chain one space um, that we have uh, on the increases that we made on the previous round we will do another increase use stitch markers for uh, this uh, chain one space that you have these corners just to be easy to uh, know where you have to increase on each round and we will keep continue uh, doing uh, that for 12 rows so you have 12 rows in total for the uh, yoke so for the first part of the t-shirt now i will start the round uh, two we will start the round uh, <clears throat> two in the same way so chain two one double crochet in the same stitch then continue with one double crochet on the top of each double crochet of the previous round and then in the first corner in the first chain one space that you you have uh, from the increase uh, that you made in the previous round we will do an increase so that chain uh, that uh, double crochet chain one double crochet and work like this for 12 rounds here is my yoke so i just finished the 12 rounds and uh, now it's time to separate the sleeves from the uh, body of the of the t-shirt and i'm gonna show you how you can do that so we will start the row as usual from now you can uh, work in a continuous round so without joining the end with the beginning and if you want to do so you can start the, this uh, 13 row with a uh, half double crochet in the first stitch you'll have to mark the stitch just to know uh, where the row begin and you'll have to move the marker with each uh, round and uh, at the end of the row you'll have um, the last stitch before this half double crochet and the first stitch will be on the top of the double of the half double crochet 
and you can continue working in continuous round if you don't want to have that line that uh, um, is made when you're joining uh, rows now let's go back to our work now I'm uh, starting to join the back with the front side so I'm um, on the first corner on the first chain one space make one last double crochet then chain 14 skip the stitches for the sleeve and move to the next corner to the next chain one space and do here one double crochet so in the chain one space one double crochet and in this way we joined the back with the front then just continue and make uh, one double crochet on the top of each double crochet from the previous round until you get to the next corner and in the next corner we will proceed the same here we are at the third corner so one double crochet in the chain one space then chain 14 skip the stitches for the sleeve go to the last corner and do one double crochet in the chain one space now continue and uh, make one double crochet in each stitch until you get to the end of this round After we uh, do this separation, so the sleeves are uh, on their place and the body the same, we can now uh, continue and work the body of the uh, t-shirt and then to work the sleeves. But because I'm using uh, this uh, skip wheel, I will just work three rows for each part so i will work three rows for the body then move to the sleeve and work three rows there and then to the other sleeve i will do that just to make sure that the colors will be the same on each part because I don't want to have different colors on the sleeves and on the uh, body of the t-shirt. And from now on, we will just work the body working uh, in the um, chain stitches that we made on the armpit as well. So just work one double crochet in each stitch. And I will continue to work three rounds. And I made an increase on the, some increases on the body of the t-shirt but uh, just at every three rows one single increase at every three rows one single increase in um, uh, from 10 to 10 stitches so on third row i've made uh, an increase so with two double crocheting the same stitch in the stitch 10 then on the sixth row on the stitch 20 and so on until you get to the end of the uh, body of the t-shirt this is not uh, mandatory you can keep it straight if you want but i just wanted to have uh, a little a, a shape of uh, this t-shirt so not to be straight but you can continue and working straight if you want without those increasing so now I'm just continuing and making uh, two more rows, uh, three rows with uh, for the body of the t-shirt 
and now and then I will uh, switch to the sleeve and I will show you how to how to work the sleeve and as I said on every three round I just made that uh, increase so one single increase at every three round from 10 to 10 stitches Like I said, if you want to work from now on in um, continuous round, you can start this uh, row with a uh, half double crochet and then continue and working one double crochet in each stitch until uh, the end of the row. And uh, the, the next row, you, you will begin the next row with one double crochet on the top of the half double crochet. And you can continue working like that without joining the end and the beginning of the round. And in this way you will not have that uh, line um, by joining the rounds. Okay, so I just worked the first three uh, rounds of my uh, body. And now I'm gonna... Um, cut the yarn and go to the sleeve just to work the sleeve like I said on this third round I just made an increase on the stitch 10 and I will continue doing that from 3 to 3 rounds so just one single increase per row at every 3 rows from 10 to 10 stitches The body of the uh, t-shirt will have uh, 33 rows in total. My t-shirt uh, has uh, 46 centimeters, but if you want to be longer, you can continue and uh, adding more rows. Make it as you wish. Now I'm just cutting the yarn and move to the sleeve. And... Uh, we will start to work the sleeve. We will begin uh, the sleeve uh, in the middle of the chain that we made on the armpit. So we have here 14 stitches. So we will insert the hook in the stitch 7. And starting from here we will do one double crochet in each stitch around. We will proceed the same with chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the first stitch. Then we will continue with 1 double crochet in each stitch until we get to the end of the round. And uh, with the sleeve we will just work uh, two rounds like that with every uh, with one uh, double crochet in each stitch and uh, with the sleeve of every three rows we will decrease so I'm gonna show you after finishing the first two rows how you can do that so if on the body we will do one increase at every three rows on the sleeve sleeves we will do one decrease at every three rows you can keep it straight as well if you don't uh, want to do that increase and uh, if you um, 
if you like uh, the sleeves uh, like this it won't be a, a big difference with uh, the decrease and without it but uh, I'm still doing it because um, for me I think that it looks better than this way so after finishing the first round we will do a slip stitch and then we will start the second round the same with chain 2 and 1 double crochet in the same stitch and then continue with 1 double crochet in each stitch around until you get to the end of the row and then I'm gonna show you how to do the decrease Okay, just finished the uh, second row of the sleeve. Now we will chain two and we will do at the beginning of this round one decrease. And we will do that by working two double crochet together. So a cluster of two double crochet, like so. And this will be uh, the first decrease and we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we have left two stitches at the end of the round because we will do one decrease at the beginning and one at the end and we will repeat this row at every three rows for the sleeves i made in total 12 rows but if you want you can do uh, more rows or less depending on how long you want the sleeve to be now that i have left two stitches and i will finish the row with two double crochet work together and then i will join with a slip stitch with the first cluster that i have at the beginning of the round now that i finished the this three rows for the sleeve I will just cut the yarn and move to the next sleeve because like I said using this yarn I want that the color to be similar on each part so that's why I'm working uh, three rows on each each side until I get to the end of uh, the sleeve so for 12 rows and then I will continue and working only the body of the uh, uh, of the t-shirt until I get to the desired length, meaning in my case 33 rounds in total. So 33 from the armpit, so not counting the 12 rows that we have made on the on the yoke. Okay, this is my uh, t-shirt. I am at the end. I made the 33 rounds for the body and the 12 rounds for the sleeves. I have here enough yarn, I have just used uh, 150 grams until now. So that's why I uh, told you at the beginning that one wear will be uh, enough for each side. And now I'm using the last color, so the black in my case, to do a border. I will do this border on the bottom of the t-shirt, on the neck and on the sleeves as well. As uh, you see here, I um, um, choose uh, to have um, the sleeves folded, so I will just fold three rounds. And that's why uh, the border on the sleeves, you will do it on the wrong side, not uh, on the right side. And the border it will be simple, just two rounds in single crochet, so nothing, uh, nothing special. We will just start the round with the first, uh, with the first stitch, and we will do two rounds in uh, single crochet on the bottom, two rounds in single crochet, but on the wrong side on the sleeves, and two rounds on the 
uh, on the neck on the collar and the sleeves just to keep uh, them more folded with that little fold you will have to sew on the armpit and a little bit um, on the top of the sleeve just to make sure that uh, your fold will stay in place now i'm doing uh, the border of the on the bottom so just one single crochet in each stitch with the last color that I have the black if you are using another type of yarn you may do this uh, border in the same color or you can use a contrasting color as you want like I said in the beginning crochet looser I use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, use uh, a sport or baby yarn weight uh, just to make sure that uh, your t-shirt is uh, lighter and can be worn in this weather so basically this is it i hope you enjoyed this tutorial too don't forget to subscribe because uh, more tutorials are coming thank you bye